<laughs> so yeah, we just saw the the new oh, Underworld please. Underworld Blood Wars, the new Underworld movie with starring Kate Beckinsale, and I want to bring up that I'm a huge fan of this series. I love all the Underworld movies except for this one. Wow, this one was just like th this one was in <laughs> was interesting, definitely. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, um, you do have to give it this. It's the best movie of the year so far. <laughs> for laughs, maybe we're just like, but yeah, my God, this was so bad. Like everything, yeah. like the because, like, like I told you when we were watching the movie, this has like none of the right. The no one who writes this film has written a previous Underworld film. It is written by completely these uh, these guys. I don't know, and it's directed by this woman who's only done TV, movie, and it feels like a t made for TV movie. The way it's shot and everything. Not, I mean, you said well, the blue tent. I mean, yeah, yeah the blue it looks tent. pretty much the same as all I, the it others. It doesn't. If you if you really paid attention, like it really, it actually looks way different. It looks way made for TV, especially the 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 terrible CG. It's just they just use CG. Com it's completely everything is completely CG. There's no more practical. Like the other ones have always at least had some practical. They've they've they found a good mixture of it. But this one is just like there's just co it's just completely CG. There's barely any action scenes. Half of the first though basically the first half of this movie is just talking into nothing. Like the all the other movies have at least they've they found a way to balance it out for the most part. Except for the mm. Awakening where they just like you don't give a crap action at all the time. But all of them, I think, have at least tried have at least tried to make something enjoyable. And this one was just like, like I don't know. Did they just stop caring? Did the producers are just like, I don't care. Let's end this this series. We we made some money, so let's just make another one just to end it, or just so we don't. I mean, what probably we're about to lose the, the rights though. or something, and someone else is gonna take it. Like what? Like uh, this movie. A lot of this movie too didn't even feel like Underworld, especially because it wasn't even focusing on Celine or anyone from the previous movies. It was mainly focusing on these new characters. Who who I didn't give a crap about because they barely gave him any time to develop them. And, like, there's so many, like, plot twists. Like, ooh, this person's evil. Like, who is that? I don't know who that person is. They've never been in any of the previous movies. And you barely develop them, so I don't give a crap. Like, the main villain... People, people switch sides, like, four times in this. Well, especially, <laughs> I think the worst... Like is the one the one henchman of the evil lady? He's just because there's an evil lady. There's like two. There's like two main villains. This evil lady. We don't even know who the main she, villain is. I guess it's supposed to be well, uh, yeah the woman who kind of looks it's, like it's, Jodie it's, Foster. It's, it's supposed to be either the woman or the werewolf leader guy. And then like but yeah basically there's this evil lady and she has like this one henchman guy. He he but he betrays he betrays Celine for some reason because he likes her. But then later on he becomes a good guy again. It's like what? And then there's like this one lady who who turns out to be the lover of the evil <laughs> the leader of the werewolf guys. And I'm just like what the heck is going on? Like I don't know that I, I don't know who that lady is. She's just been in the background. She hasn't barely said anything. And then it's just like as she as if she kind of was like, "Oh, I found Celine or something." But then I don't know where she's just making out with the the leader it's like I, the leader I love you it's like what and then she dies and then the, there's no scene where the, the when the werewolf guy comes in he goes where's my loved one when she's dead her vengeance <laughs> there's nothing she just dies and he doesn't give a crap he just goes and goes bah, bah, kill everybody <laughs> it's like it's like there's no scene where he stops and goes where now where's my lover <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> also, there's a really dumb scene where it turns out the main villain killed Michael from the first two movies. Like what? Like, what? Yeah. Wasn't it? Well, yeah, he killed Michael. He, you know, Scott Speedman's character. Yeah, and, uh, he killed him. Yeah, he he, di he died in the middle of Evolution, right? No, he didn't. He survived Evolution. He he sort of died, but then he came back to life, to, and he helped uh, her fight the villain at the end. All right. Yeah. That's and then right. and then in the fourth one. At the end of the movie, they're like, we're going to go searching for Michael. And then this one's just like, he's dead. <laughs> just like in a flashback, she drinks his blood. He killed Michael. I'm like, okay, that's it. No Michael, just he's dead. Same thing with the daughter from the last one doesn't even, like, she doesn't even want to come back. Like, she has, there's like only one scene at the end where you see a CG face of her. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> it's just like... I'm sorry, I just, like, because I, I love this, like, I love the Underworld, like, well, I don't love them, but I like them, I think they're really, for me, they're enjoyable action movies, I mean, they're not, like I said, they're not great, they're not, they, they have their fault, they have their problems, but they've, but they, but this one is just, like, I don't know what the heck happened, did they pick a bad director, the editing, too, god, the editing in this is just, like, Doop, doop. They, there's so many jump cuts, and just like they'll cut to one scene, like they'll be showing like this one scene where this one guy's welding the fence, and the next scene is like, I'm when will I get to drink the blood? I'm like, 
what the heck? What does that have to do with the guy welding the fence? <laughs> it's like, wait, bro, you just showed this guy welding a fence, and then you just cut to this scene like, well, okay. <laughs> like, I just, you have no time to breathe. All this stuff happens. Same thing when they go to this cave where all this mystic voodoo, heebie-jeebie voodoo is happening, and I just, like, I have no, I'm sorry, am I rambling too much? <laughs> Just like not, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I've I've got nothing to say. I'm pretty indifferent to the movie. Yeah, because no, I'm kidding. It sucks like a <laughs> starving vampire. Yeah, it just like I also the sound mixing and editing is so awful yeah. too. Like I mean, the, you can hear what people saying at least, but the the sound, like do do the guns sound really bad. Like I can you can barely hear them. It's like because. Because at least, I mean, you could, anyone can say what they want about the fourth one, but the sound mixing in the last one is really good. Like, I, I remember seeing it in theaters, like, wow, you could hear every, the sound, I, like, I, I remember when I saw that, I'm like, this movie at least needs to win an Academy Award for sound, it's great. But the, but this one, like, it's just like, they just didn't even care, it's just like, eh, gun, let's just get, grab a gun sound from that thing. And the thing that I especially, like I said, what, that made me feel, this made this movie feel like a made-for-TV movie was, a, like, it was the CG was just, like, everything, like, the wolves, the werewolves, especially the, the evil werewolves, like, he, hybrid form looks so terrible. Like, he just looks really, like, are they, like, there were some practical, but... It, like, did, were they just afraid of practical effects? Were they just lazy? Like, eh, just do it all computers. We don't care anymore. <laughs> like, it's, and, like, I don't even get how, like, this, what happened? Like, did someone, I just, like I said, I, I don't understand you didn't like the, you've only seen the first two, though, right? Yeah, I only saw the first two. Um, how long ago? Um, like, uh, just, uh, yesterday and the day before was the only ones I had time to see before yeah. this one. Yeah, because I, I just, I watched the first one yesterday, then today I watched the, th the second, third, and then a bit of the fourth. And yeah, I just, I, I don't agree that this one looks, it, I mean, it looks, with the blue tint, the blue coloring, yeah, it looks like it. But for the most part, this movie, for a lot of the, especially since it doesn't even focus on a lot of the same Underworld stuff, it doesn't, for me, it just didn't feel like an Underworld movie. It just felt like some really bad made-for-TV movie with vampires and werewolves. I mean, the CG, like, we're talking, back to the CG, the CG in this is so bad. Like, it reminded me of, um, did you ever see an American Werewolf in London? No, no, I didn't. There was a sequel called American Werewolf in Paris. The CG, and it looked like that. Like, you should look at, just look for, like, scenes of that movie. The CG in that movie is awful. Like, the werewolves look like crap. The movie itself is okay. It's not as bad as some people say it is, but it's, the, but the CG in it, in the werewolf, American Werewolf in Paris is awful. And it looks, the werewolves in that look like that. Same thing with, uh, they also remind me of the werewolves, and there's a, a made-for-TV movie I saw called Red Werewolf Hunter. They look like that. Those werewolves also look like crap. They look like those werewolves, too. It's just like... I don't know what, like I said, I, I just, you say it, you said this looked like, I don't, I did not feel that at all for me, because I've seen, I've seen, especially because I've, probably because I've seen these more than you have, old Underworld movies. Yeah. And I, I kind of tend to think that, uh, the, the whole purpose of, uh, of shooting it so dark with so much blue and black, is just to, uh, obscure the effects so that we won't notice how shoddy they are. Also, they dropped, they dropped a lot of stuff from the last one, because the last one, the, the the fourth one was all about how the humans figured out, found vampires and werewolves, and they were trying to eliminate them. And then eventually, of course, it turned out the lichens were evil or something, and they're trying to create a super breed of lichens or whatever. But but the, a lot of that stuff from the fourth one was dropped. Like they there was no they never mentioned the humans. It was just mainly they're hanging out with the vampires or the weird vampires or the werewolves or something like that. And it just like I don't know. The story was just all over the place, and they didn't focus on anything too interesting and especially because especially that the villain lady they felt there was a lot of focus on her and i just did not care mm. like i was like just get to the part where she dies please even like the scene where she's fighting i'm like okay at least she's fighting somebody but then it's like she has to have a scene she goes i'm evil and i defeated you Ooh, you missed oops then you killed me so it's like come on just like shut up and kill her she's done like i i lost i lost interest to her like the, 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 after the scene where she was like she betrayed after she was supposed to be turned out to be the villain i was just like what the heck is going on because she was just training and there was like no like because like i said we've never this lady we don't know her she just shows up we barely get to know her at all like there's no scene where like oh she seems nice and then it's like oh she betrayed them i hate her now it's like but you never got to know her like because they were just going so fast trying to get to the to the point i guess that they they didn't get a lot of the characters just didn't get to grow and then i love that one council member every time he had to drink or make a face he goes bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, like all three of them do. Like, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking blood. I think my favorite. It's like a kid drinking his medicine. That one lady who turned out to be the lover of the werewolf. She, she had this weird long tongue like the guy from Kiss. She's like, oh. I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Every time she shows up, I'm like, does she have like vampire tongue powers? When did this come into play? I've never seen this in any vampire, any of the underworld movies. Never. I've seen yeah. all of them, and I've never seen some person with a tongue. Then the guy, when he uh, walks into like the castle battle, they're shooting it like stop motion for no purpose at all. <laughs> There's a slow motion scene. It's supposed to be like, everyone's dying. And they're playing the, well, everyone's dying. You're supposed to be sad. I'm like, but I don't know any of these people. Yeah. They've been, they haven't set, we don't, we, we haven't gotten to know anybody in any, like, except for like a few people. Especially, like, what's the Theo James, the only things I, I guess I could say I like was Kate Beckinsale and Theo James at least were trying. Like at least they were trying. They were trying. Like they were trying their darndest in this film. But everyone, like, but they were just weighed down by everyone else, just not giving a crap. Even the um, also the the guy who played Theo James's father, he was trying a bit. They also did. They also did try to to make some reconnections back into some of the other underworld movies that just didn't. That were stupid. Like Theo James had to turn out to be Amelia's son for some reason like oh Amelia she's so amazing when she was actually kind of awful <laughs> she was we're not we weren't supposed to like her so why are you trying to make her seem like she's so nice she's Amelia was that one elder who got murdered in the train she was supposed to come and like free oh, right. Michael or whatever and she got she got murdered in the train but, and then she shows up she's at the beginning of Underworld Evolution as well like she's killing a bunch of people but yeah she wasn't supposed to be good but they made it seem like she's supposed to be a great person like no none of the original elders were good that wasn't the point of the original movies like they it's like they were very picky and choosy with the previous stuff but yeah just I, I really suspected a lot better even like I even knew I, when I heard people didn't like this I was like well I'm a fan of this series so I'll probably like this one a lot better but no I did I hate I did not like this movie like whatsoever if you, as you can tell it by my ranting, a, yeah, <laughs> I just ranted. It does like, have a lower on. score than all the others. Yeah, because so. because like because I don't like with the fourth one, <laughs> and, 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 and so many people gave that their worst rating. And I'm just like, no, it's not that bad. The last it, one, it does still have a higher one than uh, Evolution, I believe. Evolution only has like an 18. Eight, uh, really? Oh, yeah, Awakening is like 27, I think. Wait, Evolution is this? I liked Evolution. What's wrong with Evolution? I'm just like, I didn't get that at all. But I don't know. I've, like I said, I've liked, even though I, I understand the Underworld movies aren't critical darlings, but I've liked all of them. I haven't had really that many problems with, well, I've had little problems. Like, I've, I understand why someone would probably wouldn't like the Underworld series that much. Which one is the highest? The first one? Uh, Yeah, I think so. I think it's the first yeah, I'm surprised yeah. <laughs> that one, like that, I don't get why that has like such a, but this one, I can definitely see why this one has like a low rating, because this one is just like, like they just didn't care. I don't, like, because cause with all of them, I've always seen at least people trying. Even Like, I've always seen someone, I've always seen at least some sort of t trying, and people at least trying their best, and I've always seen that from all these films. I've enjoyed all of them. Except, except for this one now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of hoping they don't continue this series. Like, I think this should be it. But, I mean, they kind of they kind of set up sequels, but they didn't do it so, in a way, that they, like, this could they could have ended it here and it would have been fine. Yeah. Actually, this does have probably, like, a, <sighs> a, a an ending more rushed than, like, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Yeah, God, the ending was, the ending to this was just rushed. It's just like, dude, whoop. We're starting this new clan. Like what? Like just because she defeated him, it's like she defeated him way too fast. That fight should have been much better. Like, especially there's like oh, the beginning has a lot of scenes where it's like, oh, is there gonna be action scene? Nope. <laughs> Even the action scenes were at the beginning were so. Like, I was cut to black, cut to black, cut to black. They just kept adding to black. I, know. I was really hoping that at least they'd take advantage of like the train and have a an action sequence on there. I'm a big sucker for train chases. Yeah, eh, never did. Yeah, no, they they miss a lot of opportunities in this movie. This movie, I think, could have, for me, could have at least for me, and well, if, even for everyone, this could have been a lot better. I I wouldn't even recommend this to fans of like the Underworld series. I tell them to skip it because, I, like, I don't know what that one review you said. He's like, if you're an Underworld fan, you might enjoy this. Like, no, I'm a fan of all of these films, and I didn't like this film, so I don't think I I re I mean I don't know. Maybe someone maybe someone will like. If you, I mean, you might like this if you love like bad action movies like this. You might like this because I will admit there were parts that were I thought were funny. Okay. That's like the only, like I said, the only things I like was there were some good actor. There were some good, very, very few people, but there was some good acting. 
there were some scenes that were funny, like, at least, especially <laughs> like the, the drinking the blood, the silly faces, and like the. <laughs> there were some funny moments, and and even the bad CG made me giggle. So there, at least it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it it really wasn't great. So when I get to the final thoughts and grading, or... <laughs> <laughs> I barely had any. I barely had any opportunity to say anything about. Do you want to say? Okay, well, um. So I thoughts. yeah I've only I've only seen the first two I might see Awakening I guess for the action we if, see, if there's we like the third one too the third one's pretty good I like the third one the yeah third, it's which is a prequel but it's pretty enjoyable as of right now though I I, I really disliked the first two they they they, they kind of have these movies just have kind of the same uh the same feeling of tedium and repetition as the Resident Evil movies just. Just exposition, action scene, exposition, action scene. Yeah, this one didn't, though. This one just had way too much exposition, and I don't agree. It, yeah, it was kind of like action scene, exposition, 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 action scene, the end. Yeah, it's just, like, I I really don't agree with that, That though, about the... I mean, there is some exposition, yeah, but it's not... I've seen way worse. I've seen, like, I, I've seen way worse, like... So that's why I still really enjoy. I like I said, I enjoy all of them. So it's yeah. I, I, I'm totally fine with you thinking that that's okay. If, I understand yeah. these movies aren't everyone's bag, but you can continue. Sorry. Yeah, out of out of the three I've seen, I, I'd say this one's definitely the worst because the the character motivations are so confusing. Mm -hmm. The effects are the worst, and um, the sound effect, sound and editing. Don't yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the editing definitely, and uh, and. At least, uh, at least at one point they uh, they give you like uh, the northern lights to look at. And I was like, "Whoa, some green and purple! That's a uh, that's a sight for yeah. sore eyes." So, <laughs> though I think when the best thing about this movie for me was the opening, like the title sequence, like when it flips to Blood Wars. I thought that was actually that, that actually looked good. The rest of the CG was crap, but still, <laughs> Blood Wars. That that's just a that's just a dumb title. Uh, hell, this movie should have just been called Underworld. Underworld board meeting. <laughs> that would have made more sense. <laughs> you know, yeah. Every time, like, there's, um, I don't know, the uh, Spoonie, he reviewed this movie called Tekken Blood Vengeance, and half the movie's just them talking. So every time, like, there's a talking, it just, he goes to see, it's like, Tekken Blood Vengeance. Because <laughs> it's just them talking. So it's just like, <laughs> so that's what I kept thinking this whole thing, like, Underworld Blood Wars. <laughs> so I'm talking. It's just like, oh my god. Yeah. So bad, like, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I think these are a lot. I think these have been a lot better than the Resident Evil movies because they're better expo Like they're they were actually remember their their previous movies. Except for this one, this one kind of forgot a few things. But the the other movies have always been good about remember at least remembering something from the previous movies. Like Resident Evil movies are always mishmash. Like they'll just forget and then just retcon something stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it, Resident Evil Three, it's a desert planet, but the next movie it's not anymore. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it was a desert planet. Why is it not a desert planet? Anymore? Maybe uh, maybe Mila Jovovich really did die, and the title was actually telling the truth. Afterlife. <laughs> Other than uh, if that's not the case, though, the movie really has nothing to do with afterlife. It's okay, just, but you can continue. What do you want to say? Yeah, it's uh, this movie sucks. What do you give it? Um, <laughs> um I don't know. Does an F sound fair? I don't care. You can go ahead. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, anyone... Amityville Awakening, where are you? You were supposed to come out today, and you got bumped back yet again. And you broke the tradition of starting the year off with a horror movie. Well, this is kind but of this a horror movie. Of, yeah, this is kind of action horror, but... Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure yeah, that just, would have been better than this. But I don't know, just... I, I kinda this, I'm just so surprised, like, how, why... Why, like, Chris Stuckman was like, the last witch hunter of this movie is awful. Like, this, this makes, the, the, this makes the last witch hunter look like a masterpiece. <laughs> like, that movie, like, at least that didn't have bad CG, and they used to have a, comp like, the last witch hunter actually had a competent director. This one just had, like, someone they just hired, hey, you do TV, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which, I was just really bummed, especially because she's a visual effects person who worked on Independence Day, which actually had some pretty good effects. Like, what the heck, lady? <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah I'm, 
I'm probably not, I'm not going to give this an F since I'm probably going to give this the nicest grade I can probably give it <laughs> a C minus. Just but it's, really, yeah, that's the best. <laughs> that's not, nah, I'm kidding. D D. It's a D all the way. I <laughs> know. I was going to be too favorable. <laughs> no D. Like I had nothing. Like I just I don't really have anything good to say except for like the some of the acting was okay and there was some some of the stuff was so bad it was kind of enjoyable but that's that's still not enough to give it like C minus D yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna give this an A <laughs> I don't know I think you went on the longest r- rant ever here yeah <laughs> I, I was I was so hoping this was gonna be your first stuff here no <laughs> the, the movie has to do something really bad like it would have to be like it would have to be like well we have such a good message but then it's just like it's crap like I would probably Get, like I don't know if I, I I never saw um Keith Lem in the film, but I'd probably give that an F. <laughs> that, but the, 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 there are movies out there that are like, especially comedies, where they're supposed to have this nice message, but then there's like, like the Benchwarmers. That's supposed to have this nice me- message about anti-bullying, but it's actually a bigger bully because makes fun of everyone all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. but, so um, yeah, but. D only like I said only D because I just like this still wasn't enough to really give me <laughs> make me just go F, but I'm I'm told like I said I'm totally fine with someone giving this like an F or anything. But for me it's just a D. <laughs> okay, and uh, three more weeks we got the uh, the supposedly final chapter of Resident Evil. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to that one because even because I still I'm pretty since it is from the same it actually is written and directed by the same person Paul who's w. done all of them Anderson. who's done who's written all of them so I'm just like I'm so that one I think I'm pretty the, sure I'm gonna get what I want. I think the movies are the worst though when he directs them because I mean I mean like Resident Evil Extinction I found to be the most tolerable because it was like the most competent. Well, it's from the director of Highlander, hmm. Russell McCurry, yeah. but. Um, yeah, he actually. I, I quite the first one wasn't so bad. The first one was that that was when it was like at least trying to do its own story before they decided to. First Resident the Evil games. movie had worse effects than this did. Uh, I don't think so. It actually had some. It actually, did use some. It looked practical, like Howard the Duck. I don't. Like, it actually had some practical. They actually used some practical effects in that one. Actually, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I've seen way worse. But that, uh, that's also an early two thousand. I mean, I understand the Red Queen. The Red Queen looked like crap, but that's because that was early CG, and you can't really blame it for that. <laughs> But I do think, yeah, he, yeah, I do agree. Like, like I said, I don't think the <laughs> Resident Evil movies are masterpieces. I just enjoy them because they're so, they're just, for me, they're just enjoyable for some reason. <laughs> but anyways. Okay, um, then, so, um, I don't even remember any of the trailers oh, other, other than Resident Evil. There was the one with Catherine Heigl, Unforgettable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to that's gonna be like the one the bow breaks of this year. Yeah, it's going to suck. And Perfect oh, we, Guy. We never talked about Sleepless. Have we talked those. about Sleepless yet? Oh, oh no, no, we haven't. Yeah, that's coming out next week, actually. Yeah, that's the movie where that's he's got uh, a lot of enemies. <laughs> so I think of what I think of that movie is. <laughs> I got enemies. There. They play that because I'm pretty sure there's more of that song than just I got a lot of enemies. Or at least there has to be. If that's the song, just that, that must song must suck. <laughs> but like, that's all the song. The part they ever play from that song is I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should have played for the underworld for this movie. <laughs> the yeah. movie we just saw because she has a lot of enemies. But anyways, but unforgettable. Yeah, that. Uh, oh yeah, for, sleepless looks okay. Yeah, yeah, sleepless looks all right. It might be like. Uh, it, I, I think it's going to be like a pretty one, one of those really mediocre action flicks that comes out in thriller. January. It's like more, uh, it's a thriller. Yeah, kind of like uh, kind of like the movie uh, Contraband with Mark Wahlberg. It looks. It yeah, it looks, looks like, like that. it looks like it's. Like Triple Nine. Triple Nine was another one where I was just like, uh-huh. eh. it's Triple just, Nine came out in February. But. Yeah, but it, it just looks like another, another boring cop drama. There's crooked cops everywhere. Like <laughs> that line. Yeah, there's apartments full of dirty cops. Like, come on, can people stop saying that? Can't you just be like angry and be like, mm, he you know he's a dirty cop. We can tell that you know that he's a dirty cop by your face, not just saying there's a lot of dirty cops. <laughs> why don't they just like? Why don't they just make her? So um, uh, what is Al Pacino a lot of dirty movie. cops? With, What's the uh, Al Pacino movie? He was in a uh, Scarpeo or um, what is it? Uh, I don't know. It's I don't know something with an S. Uh, it, Scorpio know. or something like that. I don't or, know the one where he's a cop and he's like, it, where's that called? Dirty cops. The apartment's filled with dirty cops. <laughs> it might turn out to be the best Black Lives Matter movie ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks okay, but um. <laughs> 
then there's Unforgettable, which looks duh. But I don't want to see it just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> just for, like, because Captain I, I Heigl, hope... I don't know what the heck she's doing. Like, she's just so bad. <laughs> like, I, hope... I like Rosie O'Dawson, though. I'm kind of yeah. curious to see what she does, but, like, <laughs> Catherine Heigl's just not a very good. Yeah. Like, I'm evil lady. <laughs> Be scared of me. No. It's just, yeah. like, another one of those, like, where she does all this stuff and somehow she can hide all the traces of her doing all this evil crap to Rosie O'Dawson. It's like, but basically, it's. Kat, uh, Rosie O'Dawson marries this is getting engaged to the to this one guy who is Catherine Heigl's character's old squeeze and she wants him back so she's gonna she's gonna make Rosie O'Dawson look like a jerk and frame her for all this stuff or whatever it just looks yeah. dumb yeah. it looks like when the bow breaks you're right mm -hmm. and then there was another one another tr it looks meh I don't remember but... there was another trailer we didn't talk about oh, I'm trying to remember did we ever talk about the new Resident Evil trailer yeah we did yeah I think so, twice, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what was the... But there was another... There was a trailer right before that one I don't think we talked about. The, movie, the trailer right before that one. There was another Sony. It was Columbia. Um, I believe we talked I, about that I one. I don't remember. But uh, we got a crowded weekend next week. We got uh, we got some 2016 uh, late release stuff like Patriot Today, Silence, and Live By Night. But then we'll... But then again, it's uh, Friday the 13th in January, so we're going to be getting the Bye Bye Man and Monster Trucks and Sleepless. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Hopefully, about Bye Bye Man is even funnier than this was. I don't, I don't even know. Like, it's just like it might be just bad, or I might. I, all I know is that every time I see the trailer for the Bye Bye Man, I'm just not scared. I just look bored. I'm just like, ugh. Uh, this one's gonna be it's either gonna be boring or it's gonna be re really bad. It's gonna be darkness or darkness bad. Yeah. So let's see. Of course, I kind of enjoyed the darkness for how bad it was, but um, yeah. yeah. Well, let's see what uh, Friday the Thirteenth in January has for us. Well, we so, know um, we know one thing: Jamie Foxx has a lot of enemies. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, and George. that uh, and that uh, this was Underworld. Blood Wars is probably the most painful thing that happened to me today. I say, I'm saying that because I had to get fillings earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> Without an aesthetic. Of... <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, so... Uh, <clears throat> we're still in January. One down. <laughs>